At the moment, and this is hopefully going to change, our quarantine, they're doing a lot of work on the quarantine internationally and locally. Um, but that has been our biggest problem with what we've been labelled and we've got the African horse sickness. Um, international obviously do not want us to send a horse there with it, even though over the last, since the Boer War, we've never sent a horse with it. Um, that has been our biggest stumbling block. So the, the quarantine now is basically they've got to do about 60 days in South Africa. Oh, sorry, James, not 60 days in South Africa. They do about 20 days in South Africa. Then they go to Mauritius for around 60 days, and then they go to Europe for another stint of, of 30 to 60 days. From there, they would then go off to the training, training for, you know, the places around the world. So for any trainer trying to get our horse out, that's very difficult to continue racing for that season. Uh, and that's been our biggest stumbling block. Uh, Is that the same, for, the same thing for breeding stock? Breeding stock, exactly the same. The mares, we, to get them out is very difficult. You can get mares in, but then you can't get them out. Uh, and the same with stallions. So if it opens up, what a pleasure. Um, you know, we can then shuttle stallions, we can do everything. The science is there. It says we can with, withhold the horse sickness in certain areas. Um, they can test with, if a horse has got it within hours now. Um, and I can't see why, you know. Hopefully within the next six months we'll be being able to move horses closer. Really? Yeah. You're in the next six months? I would hoping, you know, that the two year ban that they put on us from what we had with the horse sickness, um, that's coming up shortly. If we don't have anything, then that has to be opened up. Uh, they have proven that the last number of cases which we had of African horse sickness is all related to the vaccine. So that has now been proven and it's not caused by, you know, a horse getting horse sickness. It's from the vaccine we give to prevent horse sickness. So that is one step that has come a big way forward in getting other people to accept and see it. And, and the science is there. So we hope uh, within a short time we will be moving horses um, and that'll be fantastic to see more of our horses running worldwide.